In this video, we're going to briefly go over a few conceptual questions. So when a data value is converted to a standardized scale, representing the number of standard deviations the data value lies from the mean, we call the new value, well, that's what a z-score is. A z-score tells you how many standard deviations your data value is from the mean. So the answer here should be z-score. Yep, z-score it is. A data value is considered blank if its z-score is less than negative 2 or greater than 2. So the answer here is significantly low or significantly high. Another way to say it is a data value is considered unusual if its z-score is less than negative 2 or greater than 2. So anything less than negative 2 or bigger than 2 is unusual. Uh, if it's between negative 2 and 2, it's, it's okay. Good stuff. Whenever a data value is less than the mean, so it should have a negative z-score. So numbers that are less than the mean have negative z-scores. Numbers that are bigger than the mean have positive z-scores. If you have a z-score of 0, then your data value is the mean. So the corresponding z-score is negative. Which of the following is not a value of the five number summary? So the five number summary is the min, q1, q2, q3, and the max, where q2 is also known as the median. So the mean has nothing to do with the five number summary. And that's it. I hope that made sense.